This is what a vascular occlusion looks like. So as you can see, this is a potential vascular occlusion. Actually, there's a lot of significant bruising within the area. When you're testing for vascular occlusion, you have to press down for five seconds, and then you need to look at the capillary refill. If it's within that two, three second window, it's actually fine. As you can see over here, the area is not being pressed for more than five seconds. And in fact, the actual vascularity comes back within three seconds. So it may not even be a vascular occlusion, and yet hyaluronidase is being performed. The only way that you can test this is by testing it properly and also doing an ultrasound analysis to see if all the vessels are patent. Also, if you think it's a vascular occlusion, there's no time for a patch test. The hyalase needs to go in straight away because it's an emergency. You need to be equipped with everything just in case if somebody does have an anaphylactic or anaphylactoid reaction. You need to have the adrenaline on hand. So there's no time for this, it's an emergency. This is a classical example of people promoting safety with dermal fillers and, knowing what they and saying that they know what they're doing when they don't. This is inadequate assessment to look for vascular occlusion and unnecessary hyalase, which can actually lead to different consequences as well. So always trust the person that you're seeing, a medical professional that knows the vascularity, knows the anatomy, and knows how to not only rule out complications, but treat it accordingly.